City Live. Welcome to River City Live and happy Friday. We have a great show today. It's actually International Wine Day and throughout the show, we have some pretty cool things about wine. Don't spill it. Okay. Don't spill it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just a, a little bit of what's on tap. Also, we're back in the Publix kitchen with Chef Tony and you have more with Jack's Best. Oh yeah, I'm going to be out and about. We're going to announce some of our latest category winners and I rolled out to present a, a plaque to the best sports bar to watch the Jags, which oh, is perfect. Yeah. Because the season is coming up soon. It's so close. And I would imagine there's a lot of competitions, you know, when it comes to sports bars. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious who won. So definitely stay tuned for that. Right now it's time for the River City Current. And let's keep talking about wine, shall we? We're going to start out with a You Say poll. So just go to newsforjacks.com slash You Say. And look over there and see which is your <laughs> favorite. So we have white. Or red. We're keeping it simple. I, I, I was totally with you because when we brought it up, it's like, are we going cabs? Are we going? But nope, white, red. As simple as you could possibly get on. Or that. all of the above. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, but I, yeah, I do like that. Everybody's like, I just like wine in particular. Seventy-five <laughs> percent. Yeah. So we want to get your opinion. So just go to newsforjacks.com slash you say and make your voice known. And I voted. Uh, all of the above. Yeah, I did the same thing too. It depends what I'm eating. Uh, also, if you go to the app, you could click on that community tab and then you could launch it from there and vote and get involved. And speaking of pairing of wine, because again, a lot of times it really depends on what you're eating in order to bring out the flavor. Mm -hmm. We have some weird wine pairings. <laughs> and this is not like a snooty type of thing, like if you have a filet mignon, like what to have it right. with. This is like some classic food. So for example, a dry white wine pairs very nicely with a PB&J. I can get down for that. Yeah. I can definitely get down so for that. So they break it down a little bit. So the peanut butter and jelly with a spicy dry white wine, it balances out the acidity. And throughout this, we have a couple more. The acidity is key That's of how it plays together. The next one sounds like you're- Oh you're my gosh, Chardonnay and bacon. So you got to get a full body Chardonnay. So it can't be that stuff you get off the low shelf that for like, Three dollars a bottle. Yeah, maybe at six dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go uh, two tiers up on that shelf. But that just goes along with the new thing with bacon being incorporated into so many things. Like when they first started incorporating in the beer and stuff like that, you're like, what? But oh, so tasty. It definitely works. And then what they're saying there is like the salty and the smoky is what balances out with the Chardonnay. And last on the list is a, a dry champagne and corn dogs out mm -hmm. of all things. So again, it's the same type of vibe that you're getting from the other two. It just kind of blends together. Here they recommend when you add the mustard, it does something with the acidity, again, and the salty and greasy combo just gets yourself a nice balanced meal with some wine. A balanced meal. So you know I will eat about anything. I bar corn dogs. Really? Yeah, not a fan. I don't know why my kids always order them in restaurants and they take the, the corn, corn <laughs> off of it and eat the hot dog. And I'm like, for $2 left, you could have saved daddy that and just ordered the hot dog. But I guess what they explained to me, it's the flavor, yeah. all that grease, yeah. like it oozes into the actual hot dog. I did not like the cornbread. But can we pivot to some other interesting pairings? We were just talking about beer and bacon. Well, beer, <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts is hooking up with who? Uh, so it's Harpoon and Duncan, yeah. they teamed up together. So Harpoon, they're known for their beers. And this is pretty cool because I'm a huge fan of Dunkin' Donuts. And believe it or not, Boston Cream is one of my all-time favorites. Little backstory here. My mom, every time she was pregnant and one of eight kids, craved Dunkin' Donuts. So I am like a kid of Dunkin' nice. Donuts. Boston Cream, that was my pick. So that's one of the flavors. Boston Cream is infused with the beer. There's <laughs> chunks of cocoa in there. Isn't that crazy? It's like, uh, what is it, real Dunkin' Donuts and cacao nibs. Yeah. And then, so, and then the other one, they have a Harpoon Dunkin' Jelly Donut. So it's actually got real jelly in there. And you know what's interesting? I wouldn't think that would work, but I've tried beers, like Wicked Barley had mm -hmm. some with like fruit that mm -hmm. was infused in it. It is absolutely delicious. So I bet you this one's gonna be a hit. And then last, Obviously, it's the fall, so they use some of the Dunkin' flavoring with pumpkin because they have that pumpkin latte, you know, type thing that they have. So they have a beer that has it all together. So yeah, I'm gonna. I mean, there's so much pumpkin flavoring, but that jelly donut that makes me think of like the different shandies and as yeah. hot as it is. 
a couple of those, you're not really going to get too over the top buzz. So yes, I'm down for that. And I think for people, if they want a beer earlier in the day, yeah. you could justify it because it's kind of paired <laughs> with the breakfast. Not the breakfast of champions, but uh, but somebody who who might have the breakfast of champions is Gardner Minshew, and this is pretty cool. So he teamed up with um, with Bud Light, right? And he's done other commercials. I want to say back in like March and April, he was doing like the indoor activity games, mm -hmm. like kind of cool stuff where he was like throwing like a ball and like knocking down cans and stuff like that. Well, when it comes to <laughs> fantasy football, uh, the sponsor is like, hey, you draft him number one for fantasy and you have a chance to win a case of beer. So uh, I would like to be in the league with anybody that drafts him in the first round. No shade to Minshew, but I'm just saying, you don't want to win your money. I'm not drafting a quarterback in the first round. Just me. But this is a great promotion because, I mean, dude, look how st he's been putting on some muscle. Yeah, I think he is going to have a breakout year. And uh, actually, I had the opportunity to talk with Mark Brunel that you'll catch later on, mm -hmm. uh, I think next week that airs. And he was given an overview of Gardner Minshew. And one of the things that's pretty cool is you got to remember, this season he is working out with the ones right now. Yeah. He didn't get that opportunity till what, like game two, right. you know, to really do that. So, I mean, look at him. He's a beast. So, I think he's going to take it to the next level Ooh. this year. Would I draft him first round no. for fantasy football? Oh, I would. I'm saying I will. <laughs> now, if I got that Bud Light case guaranteed, yeah. But if I'm only entering, I'm sorry, I meant you. I, I got to win my money. Uh, I've got a, a producer in my ear who keeps kicking me every year, and I'm taking you down this year. So Gar Gardner Minshew, he responded uh, to this, and basically he's like, after all the hard work he put into, you better <laughs> draft him number one. <laughs> now, with fantasy prediction, they have him somewhere like in the like 160s as a pick. Yeah. You know, so... Is one a stretch or not? I don't know. I mean, I'm really looking forward to seeing him on the field. Uh, yeah. So continuing on the theme of winners, you know our Jack's Best campaign presented by Visit Jacksonville has been going on, and we have had so many awesome local businesses that you, our local experts, have voted on. So our latest round of voting has ended, and we want to announce the winners for you. So our best restaurant serving Mayport Shrimp Sand Dollar. And That's a place we've been out several times. That is a great place. Uh, best vegan restaurant is Teaposh Natural Cafe. I'll tell you, I'm not a vegan, but I like to eat vegan, mm -hmm. so I want to check that place out. Uh, the best sand bar is Pineapple Point. I have no idea where that is, but I am definitely down for a party on the water. Yeah, and then best kayak and pedal board launch site. It's Dutton Island Park and Preserve Launch. Best farmer's market, Orange Park Farmer's Market. And last on the least, or last on the list, which I definitely agree with this, is best historic neighborhood, and that's Murray Hill. Every time I'm out in Murray Hill, I'm always just kind of amazed of what they're doing, because again, they have the historic side of it, mm -hmm. but then they're adding new as well. So it's the perfect infusion of things. It's to do. on the come. It's I was on just thinking too. You know, we're talking about Jack's best. You should make a plaque for Gardner Minshew, and just Jack's uh, best QB. Yeah. And just be like knocking his door and be like, "Hey, you won." He would, <laughs> Like Publishers yeah, Clearing exactly. House, like, hey. yeah. He's like, what did I win? It's your opportunity just to hang out with them. You let me see, know how that works out, because I'll probably let you go. Yeah. <laughs> it might be like, uh, Rance, you got some issues. <laughs> now, as I mentioned, we have been going around presenting plaques to our Jack's Best Award winner. So I made a trek out to Orange Park to give our latest one for the best fam or best sports bar to watch.